Stephen once said, as he was leaving a dentist, seems strange that all my wisdom comes from my teeth. It's just an insight into his character. He spent his life being able to make friends easily and is usually a joy to be around. I've managed to get some interviews with some people who are closest to him. In this documentary, I want to record and discuss how Stephen has changed and developed from when I first met him until today. <laughs> Can you tell me when you first got introduced to Stephen and what your first impressions were? Uh, the first time I met Stephen was year nine. Um, uh, I think it was like halfway through the year. It wasn't particularly loud and I didn't really notice him. Can you tell us what Stephen was like uh, at an infant age? A little shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he seemed a little bit boring. A bit quiet. Well, I first got introduced to Stephen all the way back in year nine. It was in science with Mrs. Lum. And he was sat, I was sat on the end. He was sat next to me. He was quiet. He was quite quiet until we had to do a, until Mrs. Lum got us to do a card matching task. I don't know why she got a load of upper school kids to do that, but where? This is Mrs. Lum. She was not far. Yeah. Yeah, so we did the, we did the, we did the task and Stephen was like, that was fine. Next to me, next to me, next to me, new, next to me, new, next to us, that's what we're talking. It's very fun. First impressions were a bit quiet. Very, I'm going to come myself over there, all that jazz, but it's fine. I'm like not as skinny as he is now. I feel like I'm used to have a little bit of a temper and throw things. You know. And sometimes he'd rip a book, wouldn't he, or break a toy in his temper. This is where I first met Stephen. We enrolled here in 2002 and survived all four years. The beginning of Street Food was where I first met Stephen. And my first impressions of him were quite positive. I mean, I noticed he was surrounded by friends and he worked really hard in lessons. He claims he didn't like me, but uh, no, just, just ignore that. He, he loved me. It's all good. Could you tell me um, his attitude towards uh, the beginning of middle school? I'm Had he grown out of this, this yes. terror phase? Yeah, yeah, it was alright. I was looking forward to it. I was a bit worried about it because it was a big place. Now, in 2006, while we were in year eight, Shreveport, Stephen received an award, and it was it's a pretty res prestigious as far as the Streetfield awards go. Miss Phillips and Mr Tinch said it was in recognition for personal development and that's not just in, in maths or science or any other subject. They recognised that he had managed to develop himself, he would become more social, more friendly. And when he got up to get this award in our big end of year assembly, it was kind of mind blowing. I mean, no one saw this coming. Do you remember the award he won? Yes. Uh, what was your initial reaction? Were you surprised that uh, Stephen was recognised like this? Yes, I was very surprised. I was pleased, pleased as, you know, over the moon. It was such a surprise. And I was, yeah, I was really pleased for him. This picture was taken while Stephen was in his GCSEs level. It's him with three of his friends. In Manshead, I really noticed Stephen to branch out and gain a network of friends. I mean, he was always with people, he was never on his own. Every lesson, he was surrounded by friends. Lunchtime, he was surrounded by friends and friends of friends' friends. And he just, he just it was really like when we became really popular, just like the first week of Manshead. No one didn't get along with Stephen. Did he seem to be uh, open and accepting? Um. I think he was, but it took like a couple of days to come round to something like if he was to start talking to someone, it'd taken a couple of days to sort of realise what was happening, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Year nine it was a bit it was a bit slow to get going. Eventually eventually he came out with show, it was, it just took a time. It just took time. It's more independent by the time we got to going to Man's Head. So he was yeah, I think he yeah, he was looking forward to that as well. 
It was very, it was very, 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 very easy for for me and him to have put a funny little joke here and there. We 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 talk about something. He put he put us put a naughty little pun on. Be like, naughty boy. He put a pun on. I put a pun on another one. And go, you're dying. Like, oh. it's be, it, 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 it's it's fun. It was fun being with him. I do miss him. In 2009, Stephen managed to get enough GCSEs to get into a BTEC level education at Manset Upper School. Uh, just before he went to college, he did a year of BTEC. Yeah. And would could, would you describe him any differently uh, around that stage? Was he was he uh, more happy about where he was at in education? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was getting on right. He liked doing the work and that. So he was all right with it. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff that we can talk about, like games, movies, uh, even at that point, Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we had a lot to talk about, but on pretty well. So, especially playing cards, that was always enjoyable, even if it did get me kicked out of my head. He came out. Of the, I think he came out of his shell when we got to BTEC. No, when we got to our B, when we got to our BTEC, because he was spending a lot more time with the same group. Same six of us. He came out with shell. I think he was quite a lot different. I mean, start of year nine, he seemed like a bit of a loner to, you know, not put that bad a word on it. But by, uh, by B-Take and A-Levels, I think he like come round and made a lot more friends and he was a lot more open and friendly with everyone. So, yeah, I, th I think he changed like a lot. 2010, he moved here, Central Bedfordshire College, where he enrolled in an extended national diploma in creative media production with me. Was media like a, a snap decision, what he really wanted to do? No, because he'd been doing media, hadn't he, in sixth form. But, and then when he went to college, that's all he wanted to do, and that's the only sort of courses. They sort of said, you know, he can just do media, and he was pleased with that, because that's what he really wanted to do. So he didn't really look at anything else. What I notice about Stephen most is how he's always been able to treat his work seriously. From, from middle school to now, I, I see him treating his work with as much professionalism as he can. He doesn't go around making document, trivial documentaries about his friends at college. He, he instead takes his work seriously. And when I worked with him for news, that was never clearer to me. I mean, just working with Stephen, he might have messed up once in a while, but he never, he never stopped trying his best to simulate a professional environment. Um, do you, did you notice him taking pride in his work? Was he just there to, to get along with people? Or do, you think, do you think he really put in the time? He put time in. Believe me, he put time in. He's always on the computer doing his work. He's always doing it. He can be professional sometimes, but not a lot. And he, he doesn't really show off his work. I think, I think he's proud of it, but he doesn't like show it off. You know what I mean? He doesn't shove it down our throats. What is noticeable to me, above all, is how Stephen has changed. It's not his attitude though, because he still acts like he does in Year 5. It's his determination. I've seen him work so much harder over the years, and especially the last few months. I mean, it's why he got the award, and it's why he's in higher education now. Because he was able to work harder to get there. Unfortunately, He'll always be the boy who sent me by text. I think there is a smoke cloud in the distance, but it could be a rain cloud. P.S. I just stroked a cat. I'm glad you could sit through all of my documentary and I'm really thankful for everyone for watching. And I hope I made you think about Stephen Willis. What's the biggest thing you've noticed about Stephen's development over the years? And what stands out the most about him now? Uh, about 18 years ago, he was a fetus. He's developed quite a lot since then. He's more sociable. I, th I think he's a lot more sociable than he used to be. He's, you know, got more independent.
Stephen once actually asked me why there's no paternity ward in hospitals. The answer was still not apparent after a simple explanation. Stephen Willis once asked me where the centre of the earth was. I told him it was in the ground. And he said no, the centre of the earth on the surface. Not even our tutor could get that one through his head. This one time I was working with Stephen, we were doing multi cameras. In the middle of filming a scene, he turned off the camera while he was still doing the scene. And he didn't realise until we came round to editing. Stephen Willis once tried to convince me there's no G in background. He'd been saying background for all of his life. Stephen Willis once asked a question, where is the waterproof button on the camera? On the college trip to New Forest, we had to feed ourselves for a week. Our tutor Jonathan looked in Stephen's basket, saw peaches and cookies, looked at him and said, you're going to die. Stephen Willis has size 13 feet. He can only order his shoes online, they're so massive. 